All right, Halloween is coming up, and Thanksgiving is just around the corner. Yeah. So have you added any fall decor to your home yet? I can't believe it's this Thursday, and not just inside, outside, too. Melissa Cole met with a stylist in Milford who showed us some inexpensive ways to add a lot of curb appeal. We are here in Milford with Katie Geddes, a stylist at her beautiful home. And Katie, we are talking about decorating for fall and you don't have to go crazy spending a lot of money. No, not at all. What I'm gonna show you today was probably a couple hundred bucks and I did a little bit of scouring, but I like to do more of a classic look and it's a real great curb appeal because it covers both Halloween and Thanksgiving. So, and it's really super simple. So we got our corn stalks, a staple, your mom's staple. These corn stalks, a little bit bigger, better, which I like flanked on each side of the door. Where do you get these? I got these at a local nursery. They're, it's, it's a cow, it's a cow corn. So okay. it's a little bit taller, bigger, thicker, and they just have a little bit more oomph. So, so you can go to your local nursery and ask? Yes. Okay. Yep, um, I believe even Home Depot or Lowe's might even have the cow really? corn. So okay. yeah, super cheap as well. I just have them tied to each side um, with just some um, twine, so you can even really see it. Okay, now yeah. you have to have a wreath on the door. Yeah, good old home goods, it's, it's definitely your best friend. I like this one because of the white gourds. It really made a pop to it. All right, so this is kind of just the base. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna add to it. Yes, I'm gonna grab a couple mums. I like to get two different color mums, usually. Okay. Um, that way it's not too busy. We got too many colors going on and it's not flat if you just have one. So I went to, again, a local nursery and the real big mums can be kind of costly, but they also usually have some mums that part of the plant have, has died. And they gave this to me for like $10. But I don't care, cause I'm gonna cut this off and I'm gonna put this up against the pillar. So you're not even, even gonna see, see it. it. No, right. you're not gonna see it. We place the mums on the steps and then grab some smaller purple ones. You want to kind of vary up the sizes. So I'm just going to throw this one down here. Now what kind of flowers are these? This is Celosia. So this is actually more of a summer plant, but it can do really well actually in early fall. Okay. I like it because it's got some fun texture, goes with the purple, and it's just different. You're adding variety to the mums than just, just that. And you can just go to, again, your local yeah. nursery and ask yeah. for this? Yep, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, or even like the Lowe's and Home Depot, they've really stepped it up. So. Okay. So another um, great plant that I like to add to it is millet, which is over here, and it has a great maple smell to it. So I'm gonna keep this one over here, that way I'm kind of pulling out the plants, I'm creating more of an entrance. Now this one right here, I got this at Home Depot, this was like $20. I've never seen that before. Yeah, and you know, this kind of matches the corn stalks. Yes. So that's the whole idea. And I'm really kind of put, packing this stuff in here, I'm really wanting to make it look full. So I noticed you obviously have some real pumpkins, but yeah. some of them aren't real. Yeah, so these right here, are, this is actually a gourd, but it's more of like a princess pumpkin and they can be costly and it's just such a bummer when they die. I found these at Home Goods. They're indoor, outdoor safe and you can't even tell. So I'm just gonna throw these in there and you're not even gonna know that it's the fake one. No, and then you can use them year after year. Yeah, absolutely. So maybe you can throw that one next to that uh, white mum right over there, yeah. And I'm just not gonna be even super careful where I'm putting all these. I'm just just putting them wherever and I'm stepping back and I'm taking a look. Okay. Scatter real pumpkins around too and Katie says the placement does not have to be perfect. So I've got these two rugs, I'm gonna layer them. It just gives it a warmer appearance and I love the black and white check. This is a little bit more Halloween so when Thanksgiving rolls around, I take this off and I just leave this. Home goods again? Um, this actually is Crate and Barrel. Okay. This was off Amazon. Oh wow, all right. Yeah, this was like $10. No, I, I love the layered look. Yeah, it's nothing fancy, but it just gives it some warmth. And there you have it, it looks great. Thank you, yeah, it was easy peasy. And the whole idea is to give it some curb appeal and make it look nice and classic and traditional. Well, it looks awesome, Thank thanks you. so much. You're welcome, thank you. All right, looks really good. And to see more of Katie's design ideas, you can check out her website at Living Legome or LegomeDesign.com and the address is right there on your screen. All right, you can also follow her on social media with the handle livinglegome-design.